Hey what's up guys welcome to customize droid back with another custom rom for the tipu and also for the myro user as well this rom is known as the zn xt v7 rom this is an ics rom and not the kitkat rom so let me make it very clear that this is the ics rom and not the kitkat rom so let's check with the requirement first the phone should be rooted and the cwm recovery should be installed on your phone no matter the bootloader is locked or unlocked you can still have this rom on your phone so if you guys are wondering how to do that you can click on this annotation over here or you can check the description column below the video link is available for rooting your phone and also installing the uh, cwm recovery on your phone so once it is done uh, check the description column below for the download link of the rom and the add on file so download the rom and the add on file and then place it on the sd card of your phone so once it it is done and you are ready to go I am already into this rom now so now uh, I will show you how to install this rom let's put into the recovery mode now Okay now we are into the recovery now let me tell you one thing guys if you are not comfortable with uh, with this installing the custom rom and everything i will advise you to take the uh, backup of your rom first and then go ahead and then install this rom on your phone so now the first thing you need to do is to make a full wipe so we will select wipe data factory reset and then select yes once it is done we will select uh, wipe cache partition select yes and then we will go to advance and then we will select wipe dalvik cache and then select yes once it is done we will go to the option then go back then select mount and storage here you will select format system you will select this option first format system select yes format once done select the option format data select yes and then select format cache and then select yes once you once you have made this wipe uh, go back and then select install zip from sd card here you will uh, here you will select the rom uh, where you have kept it in the external sd card or your internal sd card so i will select it here i will i have kept my rom over here so i will navigate to the folder first we will uh, flash the rom first and then the add on file so flash the rom first Click select yes. Now we will wait for the ROM to flash completely. You can see the Zidane XT View logo. This is the Aroma installer now. So now now we will have to go through this Aroma installer and install this ROM. Click on next. Click on next. Click on continue. Continue. Next. Uh, here you will select the installation option and then select install now so now now we will wait for the installation to complete it is getting almost done now okay now click on next and then click on you can select this option reboot and then click on finish this will now re reboot your phone now now wait till your phone boots completely you can see the whole new animation this is the boot animation for the Zyda next TV 7 
Okay, now my phone has almost finished booting. I will select this Xperia Home option, the home screen. Wait until your phone boots completely. Once your phone has finished booting, now we can, now we have to again get into the recovery mode and flash the add-on file. So we will get into the recovery mode now. As now we have finished uh, flashing the main ROM, now we will flash the uh, add-on file. So we will go into the option install zip from SD card, uh, navigate to the uh, uh, folder where you have kept it. Uh, so this is the add-on file, I will flash the add-on file now. You don't have to wipe anything in, the, in this point of time, you just have to flash the add-on and that's it. So now wait. Now wait for the add-on to flash completely. And it is done. Now you can reboot your phone now. Go go to go um, go back and then reboot system now. Now all the app which is installed on your phone will upgrade once and then it will boot into the ROM. It says Android is upgrading. And it's done. I'm into the ROM now. Uh, let me make this quick setup of this. Note guys this ROM do have some bugs so I have made a separate video regarding the same that how you can fix all those bugs so you can click on this annotations over here or you or you can also check the description column below the video link is available that how you can fix the bugs uh, in this ROM so I, I made that video separately so that you guys don't get confused with this installation and uh, fixing the bugs. And, uh, and I've also made a separate video giving you the overview of this ROM. So if you guys want to check out, you can click on this annotation over here or you can also check the description column below. Mm, the, uh, the video link is available. So that's it for now guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, do hit the like button and comment on the comment column in case of any queries or it could be any suggestion or it could be any mm, anything. It could be your thoughts about this ROM and everything. Uh, and let me know about the content which I upload on this uh, on my channel. So that's it for now guys. Enjoy installing this uh, uh, custom ROM that is ZNXT V7 ROM on your Tipo and Myro as well. See you guys in next video.